Hey out there, my name is Sean Callagy, um, founder and president of Callagy Law. And if you're watching this, it's because you're one of our Callagy Law um, clients and probably in the medical recovery space. So I just want to say hello, I want to say thank you, and I want to check in and ask you generally from my heart to yours, like, how are you doing? I know there's a lot that's happening right now with this situation with corona, and I'm sure it's creating extraordinary disruptions in both your personal and professional life. And we want to just say that you're in our thoughts, our prayers, and our hearts. And what we're doing here um, is we're connecting with our uh, TA team, our trusted advisor team at Calgary Law, but most importantly, I have a conversation with you about adding value. And for a long time, I've been, I've been talking to the team at Calgary Law about creating deeper and deeper relationships with our client base. I feel like we've done um, a solid job in certain respects of that. And there's massive opportunities for growth in other respects in that space. And we're here to chat about that today. But you know, we're here and what we're thinking and what we're doing in a lot of different directions. So with that said, um, I have on this call uh, with me, uh, uh, Carolina um, Johnson. Carolina, how are you? Good, I'm doing well. Okay, and Carolina, what is your position with Calgary Law? I am uh, one of the fearless leaders of the TA team. Um, I make sure that our trusted advisors who have been doing a fantastic job on trying to uh, recover money for our medical providers, I make sure they are following up with our providers. I lead them every day to making sure that um, everything gets done in-house. Um, I pretty much just try to be the fearless leader. Awesome. And, and you, we've been together for more than a decade now, eh? Yes, we have. All right. and for I'll, almost 12 years now. 12 years. I'm super grateful. And, and so what, what we want to talk about with each of you is like, what are you doing now? Like what's present? What's happening for you, the clients? Is your practice open? Is it not open? Um, and what resources and assets we can provide, but not simply in the, in the realm of collecting money for you, um, but in the realm of being there and being supportive for you uh, in a variety of different ways. So um, Fernando Valencia is on this line right now. And actually, before we go there, Carolina, let, let's talk about, you know, we, we've had events in the past that are practice mastery. We've had conversations in the past about a bunch of different things. What is it that for you is present when we think about all these things? Um, for me right now, what's present is the fact that um, I think it, we're given the opportunity under these challenging circumstances to spend more time with our loved ones, um, to reach out to people that we've never, that we haven't reached out to because either we put them to the side um, because we're busy with our daily lives. Now this is a moment that we all have to, we're forced to kind of just relax and focus and reach out to, to our loved ones or people that we haven't talked to in a long time. So I think, um, like I said before, given these challenging moments, I think it's forced us all to, to get more connected with, with our loved ones or with other people, with friends or, or acquaintances that we haven't talked to in a long time. Yeah, and so thanks, Carolina, and uh, totally agree. And I think, you know, for the folks that are out there, um, you know, our mission, is to support our client base, not only growing the, in the revenues we collect for you, not only taking care of legal issues, but also in creating access for um, leverage and scaling, but also importantly, the emotional dynamics of deeper listening, deeper connection. And, and this, this video, potentially video series, is not only our attempt to do that, but also our attempt to stand as an example for what would be in a, potentially in a way for you, your practice, your base, referral sources, all the vendors and people you met, to create a new and different relationship with them. And so, you know, as, as some of you may know, others don't, I'm also the founder of a personal development technology that was originally named the Calgary uh, Results Formula and is now called the Unblinded Results Formula. And uh, on the line is somebody who's been a, a remarkable friend, partner, and accelerant uh, in that, and, and I want to chat. His name is Fernando Valencia. I want to chat a little bit about that. And in case you're like, oh, okay, you're going to like tell us to do something. Well, no, 
we're gonna encourage you to do something for yourself uh, in terms of how you're accelerating and what you're doing with your practice. Separately, we wanna talk about how to think about the TAs, Talagi Law, and even me as a, a resource perhaps differently than you've been thinking. One of my deepest concerns for a long time has been that our TA team has done such a terrific job in, in, in you know, maybe not perfect, but I think quite terrific, um, in accessing files and revenue recovery for our clients and being a source of additional labor for our clients. At the same time, I've been concerned that we sort of bled into like, the role and framework of just being an additional arm for you of administrative support. Yeah, and can we get a, a mute, uh, Krista, whoever's administering for our end, there's some feedback from certain people right now. I'm not quite sure who, there's noise in the background. So what I want to disrupt at this moment is how to see us. Maybe you see us this way already, maybe you don't. And even if you see us this way, there's still acceleration from here. And the whole thing that we've been doing with the unblinded platform, by the way, I'm legally blind. Some of you know that, some of you don't. Um, I've been, uh, I stopped driving about eight years ago now, um, around uh, 2012, uh, maybe it's 13. And I've thought for a long time about how to create unique acceleration for people, places, and things. And that's not, we're not going into a deep dive in that. What we are going to a deep dive, into a deep dive though, is like where your mindset is right now. And is your mindset, because some of our team at Calgary Law has gone into a, like an absolute scarcity mindset. We've got to cut back, we've got to limit, we've got to um, sh like shut down certain parts of things. Um, if the courts don't open, if this doesn't happen, and that may be an absolute necessity for us and for you at some point in time. Um, for me though, what I'm looking to do right now within Calgary Law, within uh, Unblinded, two different companies, um, but certainly connected and related, and other companies that I own, quite frankly, um, is thinking about how we can innovate and how we can keep going forward as we are. And in addition, thinking about, okay, if there's certain areas we can't keep going in the same way, what can we do now? And until this corona situation passes, to create acceleration. So when we come out the other side of it, because we are, we're gonna come out the other side of it, all of us, we are. What can we do on the other side of it? So that's like super present for me. Um, what's present for you? And what may be coming up for you right now is the idea that, well, yeah, easy for you to say, but like, we're a chiropractic practice, we can't see patients, we're shut down and we're done. And I don't know how we're ever gonna recover from this. And I can't even pay my mortgage. And that may be where you are. And if it is, I am not minimizing that my heart goes out. Like I mean it, like let's settle on that. If you're in a state of absolute financial crisis right now, like I'm present to that. You, and I pray every day for everybody in the world dealing with struggles and challenges for this. I'm not minimizing that in any way. But there are certain things we cannot control about the virus. But there are other things we can control. You're like, I can't control generating revenue right now. And that may be true. But what if it wasn't completely true? And what if there was an opportunity to create revenue somehow right now? And what if there's absolutely no way to create revenue right now, but there's an access to building up your brand equity? So on the other side of this, your brand, your relationship capital, you are in a different place than where you were going in. And that's what, that's the, those are the questions I'm asking myself every day as I wake up inside of Calgary Law, at Unblinded, in other companies that I'm either a part owner or full owner in. Those are the things that I'm doing each and every day. And there's very real challenges for me too with what's happening. And my mind goes to places of absolute fear. And there's moments I'm like, dude, I just, I'm exhausted. I don't even want to think about this. I don't want to deal with it. This is so overwhelming. Choices coming down the pike, I don't want to make that could be happening, all of those things come up for me too. And I'm like, you know what? I'll deal with those when I have to, but let me do everything I can not to have to. And if you already have started, there's still choices to be making about what happens next and on the other side of it. So with that said, I wanna just um, jump in for a minute. Um, Krista, if you can unmute yourself, Carolina, still stay unmuted. Fernando, um, you know, hello brother, how are you? I'm doing well, Sean. Thank you for beginning the call with the energy you do. Yeah, thank you. And so, Fernando, um, who are you? 
And why should anybody care about anything you have to say right now that's in the Calgula Medical Re Recovery client base? And what's present for you about what we're talking about? You know, Sean, I love that question. And uh, I'll start with one. Hi, my name is Fernando Valencia. I'm a co-founder and chief co-creation officer of Unblinded. And that can mean a lot of things. And if you're sitting there wondering, like, yeah, you're a doctor, you're a practice, um, you're a chiropractor, you know, why should you listen to the gentleman that's speaking? And the truth is, one, I don't know more um, about your industry and your specialties and the knowledge you have on your practice. Uh, what we may know more of, and I'm very certain that we do, specifically Sean and us here at Unblinded, is how to merge ecosystems, how to get more sales meetings, how to take advantage of a stage and a microphone, how to pivot like absolute lunatics. When a lot of companies are like more like going inwards, we're accelerating at a crazy rate. And this is not like, hey, look at us, because we're not just telling you to do things, we're asking you to model. And we're asking you like to see how we're generating thousands of leads on a regular basis in the most ethical and integrity-based way. How we're having averaging 500 quality sales meetings every single month. I'm not telling you to have 500. I'm questioning if you'd like more, more money and less time with more magic. And that's what's present through, you know, Sean, Cal the Calgary results formula, and now the unblinded results formula, which is integrity based human influence. So that's my request to you is if you're present here and you're thinking, what do I do with this practice? How do I get more customers? How do I take advantage as our CEO, Jared Yellen would say of the number one time in history to merge ecosystems. Sean said, build brand equity. What does that mean? It means merge ecosystems. What does that mean? It means this is the time to connect in the most loving way with all the people around you that can help you generate more business, get your message across, help and impact more people. And my request to you is to stay open-minded, listen to what Sean Callagy is saying with this beautiful team of TAs, because they're present, they are in the formula, they understand how to go from hello to yes with integrity. And my hallucination is that not only can we help you accelerate your ecosystems, we'd like to introduce you to some too. And if you're interested to that, Sean, if I may invite them to the morning huddle. You know what, Let, we'll, we'll come to that in a few, Fernando. But I wanna say this, I wanna, I wanna share that Fernando wasn't able to influence and communicate at any level near where he is now, even though at 21 years old, he built a million dollar business in the entertainment world. And even though that six months ago, he was talking to influencers, speaking on stages, emceeing major events, he wasn't anywhere near where he is now because he has taken a massive, massive internal uh, reflection. He has had hundreds upon hundreds of monthly sales meetings um, over the past number of months. And that means sales meeting equals a conversation with somebody about the services you offer and who and what you are. And I want to pause that. And I want to talk to the TAs and Fernando, stay live with me, please, and Carolina. So Carolina, how many, of our, how many of our clients do you think understand that we are more, like Callagy Law, Sean Callagy, we are more for them and can be more for them for free than just a law firm that helps them collect money? What percentage of our clients do you think have any idea of that fact. And we have hundreds of medical practices, um, you know, dozens of surgical centers, and dozens of hospitals that we work with. How many of those do you think know that that's who we are? What's your gut percentage, Carolyn? I was gonna say at least 50, half of our providers know that we do more than just medical re revenue recovery. Okay, great. So for those that the half that don't, why do you think the other half do not know? And this is, there's no criticism. We're dealing real. And by the way, if you're listening to this in a medical practice, I want you to begin thinking about your staff, your team, and how you communicate your messaging to your patient base and referral bases in your community, in your ecosystem. That's what we're talking. This is a mini training on how to think differently during this time of coronavirus. So stay with us. So Carolina, the 50% that don't, why do you think we haven't gotten that message to them? Which uh, like two sentence think, answer. I think one of the biggest reasons is because we don't deal with the office managers or like the big person. We deal with uh, the biller or receptionist who just allows us to go into their office and review the claims and we just sit in a room. So we really don't have much contact with the big decision makers. Got it. And do you think that we could also, what we're talking about, could also benefit the 
um, the practices overall, do you believe that, that what we're talking about can be beneficial to the practices? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's pause for a second and let's, let's go person to person. Um, Joanne Hart, you there? Yes, I am, Sean. Hey, Joanne, how are you? I'm okay. How are you? Okay. Why just okay today, Joanne? What's on your heart? Um, totally I'm authentic. I'm going to get emotional. Sorry. Okay. Um, just, totally authentic um, and real. Don't be sorry. Authentic and real. Um, my friend is, uh, works at a hospital and just, you know, reaching out with her this morning and um, just giving prayers out. Yeah. What is she sharing with you, Joanne? Um, she works at... Not um, everybody on this line. We never script anything. So I know the outcomes and, and communication points. And I was going to go around and talk to everybody. Joanne and I, Joanne, you and I have had no conversation about this. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. So nothing we're doing is staged. It wasn't correct. like, oh, we're going we're gonna to tell an emotional story from Joanne. That's not what happened. Right? So correct. I heard it in her voice. That's part of what we teach. And I'm legally blind. Just heard it in her voice. Something. And I'm like, it's honorable, respectful, and loving to check in with Joanne and see how she's doing. So Joanne, what's she sharing? Um, my best friend is an OR nurse at a hospital in Bergen County. And um, just reaching out and sharing with her the um, challenges that they're going through right now. Um, converting um, recovery rooms and holding rooms to ICU. And of course, um, with Bergen County being one of the epicenters in, New in uh, Bergen County, um, just sharing her struggles and challenges with her and wishing everybody hopes and prayers. Yeah. And, and Joanne, um, as, well, as everybody on this call knows, and some, of, I mean, on, on our team, but the client base may not, I'm from Bergen County, live in Bergen County. I'm currently in Long Beach Island, New Jersey. I'm blessed and privileged to have a beach home uh, here for 20 years. And I'm here and I've been back and forth during this crisis, and I will continue to go back and forth, heading back north, most likely tomorrow. And um, it's it's been incredible. Uh, I you know my family um, has people that work inside of hospitals. Uh, my cousin, two two of my cousins, um, and I have other folks that uh, are married. My cousins that are married to people that work in hospitals. So it's an incredibly challenging time. And in fact, one of uh, my children's dear friends, um, uh, mothers. Uh, is not feeling well and most likely has Corona from working in a, a hospital in Bergen County. So this is crazy, like what we're dealing with. And so why are we doing this call then? Survey is clear because if we're all just sitting in the crazy and letting this occupy our space and our energy fully, doesn't mean we don't cry, doesn't mean we don't get angry, doesn't mean we don't get sad, but it definitely means it's not all that we do because that's not helping anybody. Totally so, not. Yeah, no, no, I'm not saying you are, Joanne. I'm saying for me, like there's times I feel like just saying, you know what, just forget it. We should go back to bed. And, like when this is over, like I'll deal with it. And let me track the growth of the virus in every county, state, country. And, and let me watch the news. And, you know, I've committed personally, and I offer this out to you. I do not watch the news at all. I I'm not it. either. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Joanne. And I check in on Alexa. And I, I, I do ask about the virus spread. I check New York, New Jersey, the U.S., the world. Um, I'll, talk, I'll check in on the stock market, not because I think there's anything I could do about it, but because I'm curious to see what the pulse of people are. And the stock market to me indicates the pulse of people, which changes wildly every day. So I'm just checking in, not out of fear, because it's all going to come back. And it's all going to come back eventually. And if somebody's in a spot right now where you need it and have to take it out, my heart aches. You know, because I get it. There's real losses being absorbed. For some, for most, it's not what we need to be doing. We need to just sit, sit tight and hold, right? And see what right. happens. I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm just telling everybody that. But Joanne, so for you, um, you know, anything else that's present right now? I'm going to ask you some other questions. But real quick, anything else present for you? Um, I guess I'm, I'm very happy that I'm in, I've been continuing to be busy um, talking with my clients. Um, the, the majority of them that have the opportunity to do so have been awesome in forwarding um, files onto me and we're communicating um, on a daily basis and just letting them know that we are there to help them. Um, this crazy virus may be out there, but um, 
we are there for them and that we will continue to be there for them. Yeah. And you know, it's a beautiful thing. So first of all, Joanne, uh, we've been working together for how long? 11 years. Yeah. So thank you for that. Um, and you are, you live in what part of the state now? I know. I'm in Ocean County, Winoka Harbor. If yeah. you could see the harbor in the background there. We're about a half an hour apart right now, physically, probably. Yes. Um, and so when you say help our clients, like, what do you think they're hearing you say? When you say, hey, we can help our clients, what do you think that they're hearing you say? I believe that um, we need to continue with recovery because money is a big issue for my clients and the needs that they've expressed to me yeah. to keep going in the influx of, of continuing recoveries and helping them with their files while everybody is able to, again, work together on this. Yeah. Um, and also to let them know I'm their friend. And I really do consider my clients my friends. Yeah. And I know you so do. I know you do. And so in friendship, what other types of things do you think we can offer that is helpful to, to our practices, our clients, our friends out there? I believe that telemedicine is going to be a, a big hot topic right now. So I think believe we have something scheduled on that. I, I think that would be very helpful to a majority of clients who are just getting into that field of work. Sure. And, and, and we're doing a webinar on that uh, on Tuesday, I believe, right? I believe so, yes. Yeah. Okay. And we'll, we'll get information now. We'll put a link to this. How about this, though? You know, with people starting their day, how do you think, Joanne, most people um, start their day? Let me, I'm actually, let me freeze there. Let me jump to Maritza for a second. Don't go anywhere, Joanne. Hey, sure. Maritza, how are you? I'm good. Mm, you're good. I'm hearing not an overwhelming amount of enthusiasm um, to say hello to the world. Like, I'm checking in. How are you doing, Maritza? I'm good. Yeah. I've been better, but I'm good. Hanging in. Yeah. So what are you feeling? Um, like everyone else, we've been, my family has some troubled times going on as well with the sickness, but... I mean, like like Joanne was saying, we have to just pull together and just try to keep going forward. Yeah. And how do you think, Maritza, so first of all, I'm sorry for what you're going through and your family's going through. Um, I, I know it's like everywhere, there's, yeah. there's challenges, but sometimes those challenges are more real for people than others. And, you know, it's, it's likely that soon we're going to start hearing, um, you know, from people. I, I had a friend that I coach baseball with, not from Corona, who died yesterday of cancer. He's 49 years old, has two kids. One's a senior in high school right now. I've, I've known this guy for more than a decade. Actually, that's not true. I've known him since I'm 10 years old and we reconnected about a decade ago and he can't have a funeral. You know, like it's, it's crazy what's happening right now. And yeah. so in those stories, you're going to continue to grow. And yeah, that's what's happening to us too. But, um, yeah. I mean, what else can we do? I mean, it's a family member and it's just, it's tough because you can't be there. There's nothing you can do. We can't be next to them at this time. So it's like taking a toll, but we, there's nothing we can do. We can't stop. We got to keep going and just try to be here for each other in the best way we can. Yeah. No. Well, thank you, Maritza. And Maritza, let me ask you this question. How do you think most people are starting their day now? Like how are most people starting their day? They wake up, get ready. And like, what's the first outside stimulus do you think they're putting into their world? right now i think a lot of people are like in a negative mind like everyone's afraid of this everyone is they don't want to do anything a lot of people want to stay inside they don't want to come out um i just feel like a panic like a lot of people just start panicking yeah and and what do you think they are doing each day like literally like, do you think they're talking to Alexa? Do you think they're putting a TV on? The news. The yeah. news. I think a lot of people are watching the news, which I personally, I'm, I'm not, because it's, it, it just wakes you up in a, in a bad mood, like a negative vibe. But I think a lot of people are just turning the TV on or the radio. Yeah, because when we get scared, we feel like we need to stay connected to, like, something. Right. That's fair? Mm -hmm. Like we need, yeah. we need to feel grounded in something. Joanne, do you feel that way? Or, yes, or, totally. That way. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. And I agree with you, Maritza. Uh, and by the way, how long have we been working together? Um, going on seven years this year. Yeah. 
So this is an incredible team. We have uh, 12 years, 11 years, seven years. Uh, mm -hmm. Thank you. And um, thank you. So, yeah, hang, thank hang, you. In, hang there. We're, we're gonna, you know, all we'll circle back in a, in a moment. Um, did I hear who else is out there, uh, Krista? Well, first of all, we have Krista. Um, thank you so much for putting this together. And Krista, what do you do? Hello, everyone. I am in business development at Calgary Law, and I focus uh, heavily on the medical revenue recovery team, assisting the lovely TAs that are on this call today. I assist with uh, social media, uh, planning events, ecosystem mergers, constantly living in the formula, and uh, working with Unblinded. I do a variety of things, yeah, as thank you could you. say. Spreading energy of connection, grounding, yeah. stability, acceleration, ecosystem merging, interconnecting. So thank you, Krista. Thank um, you. Super grateful. Okay. Thank you so much. Well, what else we have with us on the line right now? Obviously my vision, that's difficult for me to see. Who's there? Impossible for me to see who's there. So who, who's there also? Raj and we have Christina and Nicole. Yeah. Hey Raj, how are you? Sean, I'm doing well. Yeah, brother. And we've been working together now for? It's about to be four years on July 5th. All right, brother. Well, thank you for that. And where are, you calling, where are you calling from today? I'm actually at home, but I'm in the backyard because I have some birds that are very loud and I didn't want them to interrupt <laughs> this call. So, <laughs> and it's nice out too. Yeah. So where, where is home? Um, it's in Parsippany. Cool. And so what's present for you with all this? Um, you know, um, the rest of the TAs, they actually said a lot, a lot of the things that kind of resonates with most of us. But one thing that really, really, I realized this a couple of days ago, although we're so isolated as a world, like we're not having that human, hu human to human connection or um, in person and whatnot, although there's like this isolation, I feel like the world together like individuals as well, but the world in a, in a more macro level um, has never been disconnected before. Um, you know, I'm having people reach out to me that I haven't heard from in months or years just to catch up on things. So it, it the sense, the, the, the fact that we're not actually having a human connection, but yet we're still very, very connected. I think that is a very empowering feeling for like individuals and just the world itself. Yeah, it's like the first time that maybe the first time since, uh, you know, modern human history that we're actually united against one thing uh, right. in a real way. You know, I mean, there was certainly the Spanish flu, um, but, you know, things were a little bit different in the world at that moment. Certainly there wasn't the in interconnected nature uh, electronically where the planet is. So I would dare say that we are the most united we've ever been against a thing. Um, Absolutely. So, so I would agree. And, you know, thanks for that, Raj. And then Christina, how are you? Where'd she go? Hmm, we lost Christina. All right, well, we'll circle oh, back. She's Christina. muted. I'm here, I'm here, Sean. Hey, Christina, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. I'm, I'm, at a, I'm, I'm at a provider's right now. Oh my goodness, and you are literally in New Brunswick, correct? Yes. No, and thank you for that hard work. And you're maintaining safety and social distancing? Yes, yes. They have me um, isolated downstairs. And I'm by myself in this room. And, and what's, so you're still pulling files, still generating revenue for that client? Yes, yes. No, awesome. Yes, thank God. Mm -hmm. And what's present for you, just in the world and everything that's happening? Like, what's on your heart? Um, blessed um, to have a job still. and. Um, you know, it's hard, like I mean, let's say, and Joanna, everyone said, everyone's going through tough times, and this is when you realize, um, you know, you realize who's there for you, and family, you know, I get a little emotional. It's okay. What's, so what's taking that emotional place? Just the connectedness, the sense of family? Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. And yeah, I'm a cry baby, Sean. It's okay. <laughs> I'm a crybaby too. Being, <laughs> being in touch with your heart, uh, especially at these times, is an unbelievable gift. Yes, yes. And so for you, we've been working together for how long? Um, eight years. 
eight years. Yes. Um, and so this is not our entire uh, TA team. This is only a portion of the beautiful team. And thank yeah. you for being out there working hard. Anything else you want to share? Um, no, I'm, everyone keeps safe. And, um, you know, we're like, we're here to help anyone that needs our clients and, um, you know, yeah, everyone, our team, you know, we always have to be, um, at least stick together, um, and, you know, try our best to do what we can to bring revenue into Cali and at the same time be aware, you know, of our surroundings and all that. Um, yes. no. Thank you. Thank thanks, you. Sean. No. Mm -hmm. And we have Nicole, um, who is uh, the magical executive assistant of mine. Hi, Nicole. Hello, Hi, everyone. Um, I am good. You know, these are obviously very um, challenging and painful times to everyone. And I'm very present to and thankful for the leadership that we've had at Calgary Law. You know, in painful and dark times, I think most people can crumble. And succumb to the fear and thanks to your leadership i mean i know i personally feel very empowered and like this is a time to rise into leadership and creative ways to you know make everything work and to to come to good things you know i mean no great things ever came from staying in a comfort zone so right now i think this is a real time for opportunity for all of us you know to really step into greatness and you know, I know there's also second tier challenges with the coronavirus and part of that could be isolation and, you know, struggling to deal with the pain and, you know, some things, whether it's family members or us personally. So I just want to let everyone know that if anyone's struggling with that, I'm here. You can always reach out to me. No, Nicole, thank you. And that was, you, the, your stepping into your leadership has been uh, remarkable to experience and inspiring. Thank you. Thank you. And then we also have Katie and Lily, who are teammates from Unblinded, and they are just absolutely committed uh, humans, uh, making incredible things happen. And so, Katie and Lily, thank you both so much for being here as well. I think they jumped off, but yes, thank you, Sean. They just jumped off to a a call that they had. But thank you very much. I will pass on the acknowledgement. Yeah. And so Fernando and, and for everybody out there, um, you know, we're going to you know, just be on for just a couple more minutes. This is an introduction and this is a first stage of us providing even more connectivity and value. Uh, and in fact, I wish it hadn't taken into the coronavirus for us to do this. Um, and we should have been doing it before because we've been doing it a lot of different ways. We've helped practice master's and other things, but this is something we could have and should have been doing earlier. And so we're here now. And sometimes a crisis like this um, brings about disruptive thinking. And I think that's where we are. And so, Fernando, when you hear um, how people you know, generally start the day, and we're aware of it and we talk about it a lot, in terms of the news and where mindsets are, um, you know, what, what's present for you when you hear that? When I think about how people start the day, um, you know, when I take myself out of what we're doing and who we're surrounding ourselves by and what's happening in the proximity of them blinded, uh, I wonder. I wonder, as you know, this morning we spoke to a leader in a community service group uh, within a, a city here in New Jersey, and he was sharing with us um, that people are being unemployed and that, you know, businesses are losing, you know, a, a, per, a large percentage of their revenue and there's things happening in the world. And, you know, he's wondering what we, how he can give back to his community, to his ecosystem, his group, to his leadership. And he's committed no matter what to saving his organization. And it really puts into perspective, like what's present. And I think about um, like what we're doing here at Unblinded every single morning, Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 9 a.m. Um, we have some of the most influential forward thinking and most importantly, people that are executing right now during this time um, on our morning huddles. And they come in and Sean, you interview them and you ask them questions and they share not only how they've had crazy levels of success for themselves, whether it's, you know, financially or lifestyle choice wise, also how they're winning right now during this exact time. While most companies are like hiding and maybe waiting, some are flourishing and not at all. Am I downplaying what's happening in the world? It's scary. And I'm, I'm hearing all of you and I'm shedding tears with you and, I'm present and I feel the fear in my family and my mom and 
that they're watching the news and I understand that it's real I'm here at the same time I can't think of a better place even before corona of starting you know your day with hundreds of people clear of over 500 from dozens of countries and we're not here talking about like the most up to date on the news even though we are acknowledging what to do tactically uh, thanks to Calgary law on like moves to make execute um, we're also talking about strategies for business and for life and for how to you know accelerate in, in influence whether that's in conversations with your family conversation with your clients conversation with your team conversation with investors every single morning 8 30 to 9 o'clock monday through friday and we'd love for you to be there and if it would be in service to you we'd love to interview you in front of those 500 people so please join us it's unblindedhuddle.com that's unblindedhuddle.com uh, you'll get a reminder and then someone from our team if you're interested will reach out to you and we'd love to interview you and that goes to everyone from the cali, cali law team and more importantly to all of you out there watching this video thank you for getting to this point thank you for staying committed Thank you for believing in Caligi Law because they stand for truth. They're caring, they're urgent, and they're aggressive, and they're rooted in integrity. And as someone mentioned on the call, my apologies for forgetting, Nicole, thank you, um, honoring Sean's leadership because this man is moving. This man has the vision. And that's not a pun, that's the truth. This man has a vision. I'm following it. Our movement of thousands is following it. Caligi Law is following it. And we believe. We believe in the formula. We believe in what's possible. And we believe that we're going to get out of this together. Because together, we all achieve more. So thank you for having me, Mr. Callaghan. No, Brando, thank you. And, and we'll round back to the huddle in one second. <clears throat> what also is present for me is that people stop um, because of their conditioning. And I, I remember, you know, my mom um, was working in an administrative capacity in a law firm uh, about 25 years ago. And that firm started to have conversations about computers, like getting computers. And my mom was like, no way, I'm not learning computers. Like, that's it, like, I can't do this. And, and you know, she needed to make money. But she was completely freaked out about some, doing something new that was out of her habit. And today, or by 10 years, by, by two years after that, my mom was teaching people about using the computer to operate inside of a law firm. And then my mom became my first employee inside of, or maybe, I'm sorry, but my second actually employee inside of Calgary when I first started it 22 years ago. And it was like a massive breakthrough when she started working there and she understood what she was doing. Um, my mom was not an attorney, she didn't go to college, but she understood administratively how to do things that seemed a short time before that impossible to her. So right now, as we look at telemedicine, as we look at um, you using Zoom calls and webinars, as we look at creating remote access for us helping to recover money for you now to keep people employed, to keep your practice open and running, those things may be new and foreign to you. Part of the help though we're here to, to be to you is to work with you through changing those patterns of getting files remotely, of creating possibly access to offices that are closed where there's appropriate uh, health uh, things put in place if it's necessary for you to stay open to generate that revenue, all in compliance with the law. So I, you know, I wanna double check with all legal guidelines about what is appropriate and not for your facilities and or setting things up remotely. So just talk to us, talk to your TA, talk to Carolina, Talk to Tom LaGreca, who is put up and is running um, our weekly huddle for all healthcare providers. We're going to be back here with the TAs um, at least weekly, doing these and getting these out. And, and from my heart to yours, sign up for the Unblinded Huddle, unblindedhuddle.com. I run it every day. We've done 200 huddles already. About maybe one, what's the exact number, Fran? Do you know? Yes, I am here. We are currently at 193. Okay, so we're at huddle 193. And for most of you, you've never been on. And if you have, maybe you've been in and out, give the, the huddle a week. See how it makes you feel differently, think differently, show up differently, view the prism of your life, your future, your legacy, your destiny differently, but also giving you tactical skill sets to accelerate what you're doing, to understand how to connect, to understand at a deeper level of mastery 
how to connect with your client base and what to do. Point, call your TA, talk to us, communicate, follow our model and accelerate. Um, Carolina, any final thoughts from you? Yes. To all our medical providers, I just want to let them know that we are here for you. Um, not physically, we can't go there, but we're definitely here. You could call us, email us, reach out to us, a video call, whatever way you would like or prefer. Please uh, know that we are here for you and um, please stay safe, be with your loved ones and be blessing. Yeah. And what's the best number to call Caroline at this point? Um, you could call the office. The numbers are being directed. Um, well, if the providers have an individual, each TA, they all have the TA's information. Yeah. Um, but if not, you could definitely call the office at 201-261-1700 and your phone call will be directed um, to either myself or Tom. Yeah, 201-261-1700 and sign up at unblindedhuddle.com. Talk to us and be on the telemedicine a webinar we'll be doing Tuesday morning, Carolina, correct? Correct. Tuesday. Uh, I will make sure uh, we get the exact information. I know it's for Tuesday. I'm Tuesday morning? Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. I'll oh, okay. put the link in there for the webinar. Okay. And, and also, let's just please connect. And if anybody wants to talk to me, uh, I will, I'll stay up till three o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Let's have a call, let's communicate, and let's figure out how to truly anchor in leadership Fernando, any final, final thoughts? Because we've had these conversations with some of our providers, and they're like, yeah, 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 like you do that motivational stuff. If some, actually better yet, um, Carolina, what do you think is the biggest objection clients would have about getting in the huddle? The most common objection. Um, you, so a lot of them might be busy with their kids. If they have little ones, it's hard for them to jump on a call early in the morning. Cool. Um, and then we do replay it. What's, what's another objection? So time is one. What's another? Common objection. Time, uh, and sometimes they don't really want to know, you know, they don't really want to, they don't want to do it. Just, they don't give an answer. They just don't, they just give you an excuse. <laughs> and, and what, at any time, so you, so this is a training moment for the medical providers out there and for our team. Anytime people just say no, it's at a, they're at a default no, because we feel like, no, 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 no. Like our, our automatic reflexive response is to say no, because we don't want to make a mistake. We don't want to waste things, lose things, time, energy, right? And also, that default no comes from missing the value. Like somehow the value is not being communicated to them, so they're thinking the time investment isn't worth the value I get back. Fernando, if somebody were to say they don't see the value, don't have the time, just a default no, in one minute, what would you share to disrupt that? Hey, listen, Caroline, I hear you. And there's a lot going on. I'm not pretending like there's not a lot going on. And there's things changing. There's dynamics. There's things that you didn't know you had to do that you're doing now. And you're juggling and you're time blocking. And something tells me you're doing an exceptional job. And also at the same time, something tells me that we're on this phone call and you're wondering what to do. And if you're wondering what to do and you're spending time thinking about what to do, let's try out the huddle. And this is not like, hey, come listen to us talk. We're going to inspire you. If all we do is inspire you, like, please don't get on the call. That's like not even why we want you on there. We want you on there because we want you to accelerate your business. We want you on there because you realize that there's more. And unless you find it somewhere else, and if you do tell us, because I'm telling you right now, we looked and we didn't find it, so we created it. So I'm putting a flag on the ground. Show up, be there. Our next huddle is gonna be on Monday, 8.30. If it's not everything, everything I'm saying it is and more, go on the internet, Call us liars, never talk to me again, and I'll still help you in the future because I know that's not going to happen. So listen, all joking aside, unblindedhuddle.com. Give it a shot. Try it out. I'm going to call you Monday at 9.01, and I want the truth because that's what Unblinded stands for. We're a thunderbolt for a reason. Thunderbolt stands for truth and illumination. So please show up, feel the energy, get inspired. Also, take the action because right now in human history, we have an opportunity to rewrite humanity. We have an opportunity to write the story of what we were doing during this time. And this is not about you coming to a huddle. This is about us locking arms together, merging ecosystems so we can make this world a better place. That's why I believe you should go to the huddle on Monday. And getting that message out in your community, being a community player, accelerating massively. Carolina, You've done a phenomenal job for so long. I'm challenging you as the leader 
as you as a leader make the next breakthrough that we get our clients, anybody that can be set up remotely, that we go remote, we enroll people in the telemedicine webinar, we get that message out there to our clients, not only through the email, through this, through sharing, and also through phone calls, text messages. We get that communication out there. Let's galvanize our client base, all of you out there, to lead the medical industry in New Jersey through this incredible crisis and challenge with your heart, with your energy, and your love. Hey, I'm Sean Callaghan on behalf of this incredible TA team, Carolina, Fernando, Unblinded, everyone. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day. Stay safe and be a force for good out there. Force for good. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.